Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Uh, first, for those who are asking how my son is coping with the cats, this is how he's coping with the cats. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to another vlog. I'm just here chilling with him um, for a few minutes, then I go clean my room. My nanny is taking a break from tomorrow for a whole week, so I need to get a few things done before she leaves. So I also wanted to show you guys this um, cute teethers we got from Peekaboo. So there's this um, monkey-like one. It it even has like a tongue scrape or something or a gum cleaner and also this one this is also a teeth guys um so the thing inside kind of rattles and it also has two mirrors it's interesting <laughs> so we we got them both from uh Picabo. So sage curtains and carpets stopped by to install new blackout curtains in the nursery. So we still went with white but this one is like a different shade of white. It's brilliant white. She also changed the shears. Um, I just loved the progress of her, how her work has changed. <laughs> Where I'm struggling to talk today. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys. I'll show you guys like in a picture form of how the new curtains look like. So um, she also opened a physical shop by the initially i will link her page in the description box down below in case you're interested in the physical location So over to my room, I just want to do the usual, change the beddings, uh, do laundry. I have a lot of laundry to do. Um, just tidy up my chest of drawers, my uh, dressing table, which is a mess as you can see. And this whole uh, bag situation that's under here, I need to arrange everything again. Um, so unfortunately, I only got to do my room this day. I wanted to clean the room, my room in the nursery before my nanny goes uh, but i became sick <laughs> you can even tell with my voice right now in the voiceover i got a cold um it was really bad so immediately literally immediately after just cleaning my room um everything went south i ended up uh, waking up the next day and i uh, went to hospital um because then I just needed medication there's no way i would have just relied on like um lemon and honey and ginger mixture so they gave me meds which i'm grateful for because i got fever um the same same day so at least i had like a paracetamol was it cipladon sorry yeah which is a paracetamol they gave me cipladon uh, which contained like the headache and the body aches and all so i took a break for like two days um just recuperating um hanging out with my son i had to wear a mask um the entire time so it actually gave me a really hard situation and i actually wondered and he said i will ask you guys how do you guys um cope when one family member is sick and you don't want the rest of them to get sick like how do you um isolate yourself sanitize the house and stuff because i found it really really hard because um as much as i was on leave by the i'm on leave i didn't i don't think i had mentioned that um my hubby was also on leave but he had to run some errands from time to time so from time to time I was left with my son alone and you need you just have to do um what you have to do you have to feed him you have to change him you have to wash him you just have to do it even if you're sick or not <laughs> you just things things need to get done um so yeah uh i just wanted to know that how do you guys handle that so now i'm sorting all this laundry i wanted before i finish up on the bedroom i wanted to just get rid of all this um laundry first so as usual i'm just sorting them into lights darks towels bed sheets and uh yeah towels yeah that's it Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-
so i'm just adding a scoop of the oxy bleach into the load just to make sure that all the stains are removed and everything gets cleaned nicely So yesterday for some reason I was walking barefooted, um, not barefooted with my socks in shags, that's why they are this dirty. So I know if I put them in the washer like this, they won't, the stain won't come off. So I'm using the Dr. Beckman uh, stain brush remover first to soak them um, and then, then I'll put them in the next uh, load. So I'll just leave them here to soak for I think 10 minutes should be enough. So when you just put them in the washer, um, the stains will come out. Back to the room, I'm starting with the bed first, um, I usually wipe it down, um, you guys know the routine by now, so I'm just stripping the bed so that um, I don't get any like lint dust or dust on it, so I'm using the Fresh Day, yeah, Fresh Day Furniture Polisher, it's also, um, I think, uh, it's also sold by Astonish, sorry, <laughs> so that's what I usually use to wipe the bed sometimes, because it kind of controls the lint that um gets stuck on the bed i don't know if that makes sense um it controls like the dust the amount of dust that will stick on your bed or your furniture and everything plus it also smells really really nice so i'm just going to make the bed then i wipe down the bedside tables So these days I usually make my bed with a blanket um, down below, then I put, after the bed sheet I put a blanket, then my duvet, then on top I also add the white fluffy uh, blanket, especially when I was sick this came in handy so much, because um, I got like the night, um, the chills that you usually get with um, fever, I know you're not supposed to cover yourself, but well, Kwanza with the cold that you're experiencing, I think it became like double. So, um, yeah, I don't know if it's just me, but it's just become excessively cold nowadays. <music> Over to my dressing table, I'm just returning things where they're supposed to be, then I remove everything so that I can wipe down the table and the mirror using my vinegar mix. Then before I return everything back, I usually wipe them down with antibacterial wipes um, just to clean everything and just make sure there's no like germs because most of these things we usually touch them a lot and they end up touching our faces so i usually wipe down everything with antibacterial wipes before returning them back on the table <music>
lastly I'm tackling the top of my chest of drawers which is always a mess um it's always cluttered I'm always like decluttering this space every every time every week um so I'm just cleaning it up um decluttering sorry then I clean it up then I clean uh, my mirror for the bedroom vacuum and I'll be done here So this is the next day we ended up in the hospital like I told you guys um, I just had to get meds um, this cold was colding <laughs> sorry that's not proper English this cold was just really bad so I'm chilling outside with my son I'm having tea and bread with Skippy it's the only thing I really wanted to eat I didn't want to eat food so um, the next morning by the way so this is what I was telling you guys so the next morning when I woke up and I was making the bed I was sanitizing using surgical spirit so I sprayed my beddings um, my son didn't sleep with me by the way just to uh, put this out there my son did sleep with us um they ended up sleeping with the dad in the living room because you know i was coughing a lot during the night this is two days later by the way guys um by now i was feeling a bit better but i was still coughing so that's why i'm still masked up um so i made the bed and i still sanitized again um because I know he'll be in this room at some point during the day and I also open the windows so at the end of the week um, I'll just strip down the entire bed and wash everything but for now I will just decided to sanitize because it would have been impractical for me to sorry yes it would have been impractical for me to wash the beddings every day so I was just showing you guys I'm also carrying a Dettol sanitizer with me everywhere I go um, so I'm in the living room by this time I think my hubby had left so I was alone in the house with my baby oh my day bag was also around she came I think Monday Wednesday Thursday and yeah monday wednesday and thursday so at least she helped me a lot around so right now i want to do a few things but i want to put my son down so i want to vacuum um the carpet so that i can put his mat um and some stuff so that he can play down here as i clean up and arrange the living room um by the way guys we are eight months um this week we turned eight months just the other day 
I gave birth to this cowboy and now we are eight months. <laughs> so um right now by the way you can't even leave this you can't leave him on top of the couch. You have to put him down otherwise you'll just uh we've had a few close calls with him falling from the couch but he's not fallen yet. So we just prefer putting him down where we know you can leave him, you can go to the next room quickly and come back and you'll find him um safely. Um and this way also he will even crawl and move quickly, move around quickly. So yeah. Um that's why these days we prefer putting him down, but he will give you a maximum of like 30 minutes then he wants to be carried. Plus I was also avoiding carrying him um too much this week. Um I didn't want to come into so much contact with him because uh, of the cold i'm really really praying he doesn't get this cold because the dad has gotten it so um, i'm praying he doesn't get it actually <laughs> So this is the next day um, around mid morning I needed to make his fruits because um, in the morning he usually takes milk, porridge, then at around 11 he takes fruits, then milk after an hour, then lunch, then milk, then fruits, then um, dinner, then milk. <laughs> so I needed to make his fruits um, and he actually behaved. I was really, really shocked, but we had to take a few breaks here and there. I hold him, put him back in his feeding chair, um, do some work, hold him. Um, you'll just see throughout the video. So, um, so I was saying, I thought he was going to give me like um, 10 minutes to just make his fruits and then he'll become fussy and want to be carried. But we ended up doing so much. We ended up making the fruits, cooking his lunch, cleaning up the kitchen, doing the dishes, mine, not mine, ours, and his. Um, what else did we end up doing? I think that was it. I think after his lunch was ready, it's when now I left the kitchen and went to feed him outside. Um, so some days they can actually behave and allow you to do a few things here and there uh, but you have to like keep entertaining them talking to them you know and before you all come at me and tell me it's not safe to have your baby in the kitchen with you honestly you guys there's no other way i would have made his, his meal sorry or even uh, washed his dishes without him there he has to see you near him otherwise there's nothing you'll do he'll only give you maybe even one minute if he's on if he's in the living room sorry <laughs> i'm struggling to breathe if he's in the living room and you're in the kitchen um within one minute he'll start to cry um so the only way you can get work done even with the nanny even with the dad this is the only way you can get work done with him right now you just have to be super safe um keeping 
keep him a bit far like way far from the cooker when you're using it um when you're handling hot water and stuff we just have to be extra careful because even if you put him on the other side of the dining um the other side of the kitchen which is the dining area he will still refuse um to sit that side so please don't come at me we've tried this is the only way you can get work done with him unless there's someone else watching him which there was no one else it was just me so for his fruits today i'm making mango and i'm mixing it with orange one orange i'll squeeze it and mix it with the mango before i blend it this way at least it will give him some vitamin c um that will i hope prevent him from getting this cold that we have Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah. So like I said early I decided to start on his lunch too I realized he was um not as fussy as other days so for uh, today for lunch I'm making potatoes I'll mix it with carrots, uh, minji, and a bit of beef. The minji and the beef have already been boiled, so I'm just boiling them further to make sure that they are well cooked. Um, so I'll just mix everything in a sofuria. Then, after they've boiled, um, I'll blend for him to eat. So normally, what he eats for lunch is the same thing he'll eat for supper we don't cook twice um so what i'm cooking right now is enough to feed him uh, both lunch and supper <laughs> So this water bottle is what actually distracted him the longest. <laughs> I was able now to do all the dishes while he was just playing with it. I don't know what was amusing it, him with the bottle. <laughs> I think it's the water just vibrating inside. So yeah, this is actually what saved me today. I was able to do the dishes um, till his food was ready. Then we went to eat outside. Reasons, reasons here for everything gone. 
So we are back in the house. I just want him to play a bit before we go shower, but I want to clean the nursery before um, he goes to shower. So I can't quite remember where I got this play mat. If I do, I will link it in the description box down below for you guys. But this wooden um, hand toy thing at the corner, at the left bottom corner, is from Bambi Kids. Same to the other one that's on his right foot. Um, they're just like Montessori kind of toys. She sells Montessori toys that um, help your kids and stuff. Um, so these are the two that I removed for now. There's also two more that she sent. Um, I will link her page in the description box down below in case you want like toys for your kid. I was just showing you guys how his foot is healing. You can see it healed completely. It's just the skin didn't go back uh, well. So I mean the nursery like I said I'm just um, collecting all his dirty laundry to go and wash. Um, I will also change the sheets on the changing mat. Um, on the co sleeper because we use it a lot um remove the towel that heap of toys and pregnancy pillows and everything at the corner on the top of the crib um i'm also going to sort that out and arrange it i actually realized that my nursery was disorganized i may have to take like a day next week to organize it really really well so i'll do that <coughs> especially the chest of drawers um i can barely find anything like my day bag comes and arranges arranges it uh her way uh, my nanny arranges it uh her way <laughs> i feel like i'm talking weird um so when we come me and the dad we can we can barely find anything so i'm just going to take time next week and arrange this chest of drawers because anyway, i'm so sure there are things there that um are not, are not supposed to be uh, there are clothes there that don't fit him anymore so yeah i finished um cleaning up the nursery arranging it a bit um so they came in with the dad the dad is the one who washed him um this day as i finished up on other things So I'm just adding a load of his laundry, uh, my son's laundry alone. That's all I'm going to do today. Then I'm going to soak his bath clothes in bleach so that I can wash them tomorrow. I prefer usually um, hand washing his bath clothes because they touch his face. <laughs> um, so I kind of prefer hand washing them than putting them in the machine with all his other uh, soiled up clothes. So hey guys, before it's um, dark outside, I wanted to share with you guys. I wanted to share with you guys pajama sets that I got from Ella Confis. Um, she sent me four of them, so I just want to try them on and show you guys. So this is the first one. Well, there are people outside my window. So this is the first one um, that I want to show you guys. It looks it's so nice. <laughs> it's I can't believe it's taken me a whole week to try this. And I could have been rocking them this entire week. So let me show you guys. So this is the first one. Look at how beautiful this is. And it's so comfy. It is not even a PJ. Okay, it can go as a PJ and a loungewear um, to stay in the house. You can even go to for your errands with this, actually. 
or maybe it's a fitting for me huh? so this is the first one um a black um strapped it's like a dress oh, it has this very lovely lovely soft um fabric which is very comfortable oh this is so nice i can't believe it's taken me this long to try them out so let me just try out these others i have three more and then i'll show you so this is the same same but in maroon sorry i'm not wearing a bra so this is the same same but in maroon look how beautiful this is oh i have cute laundry i could have been rocking all this in my leave so anyway i'm going to do laundry either way i have so much laundry to do so i'll do laundry as i um wash them so this is the maroon one don't mind my still have my pregnancy belly <laughs> but it's reducing is not as bad as it used to be so this is the other so this is the other set other set this is how it looks oh this is so cute and it comes with its own uh, maroon i've seen so i'm not going to try this out so this is how the gown looks like and it has pockets <laughs> and it has pockets oh this is so cute i love her gowns this is like the same it has like the same comfiness and design as the um, white and floral one that i have from her so she's added me a bit oh this is so beautiful so i think it has pockets on both sides yes it comes with pockets on both sides so yeah um the page is called ella Confuse. Please, please check them out for PJs. As in, I think right now, um, 80% of my PJs are from Ella Confis. <laughs> um, oh, this is so cute. So this is also a very comfortable um, loungewear. You can have it in the house. Um, yeah, and just like if you're having like a chill day in the house, this is cute. Oh, at this point, I'm exhausted from talking. <laughs> But um, next day, like I said yesterday, um, the first thing I'll do is wash his bath clothes. So that's what I'm doing right now. Then I hang them. I already hung his clothes um, and my clothes also. There's some clothes I also washed. Um, so at this point, the dad was around. So um, my son was with the dad. So I ended up doing a lot. Um, I managed to scrub the sink off camera, did the dishes um, off camera because I do want to do the dishes again um, in this video so I also cleaned up the cooker um, and mopped the floors and the counters and uh, by this time we had already cooked for him as for us we decided to get takeaway both breakfast and lunch that's why you won't see me like cooking our meals uh, but for him we uh, it, we just have to cook his his you can't buy like take out or anything but we decided to lessen our work and get take out for ourselves
so before i mop the floors i want to leave his uh porridge cooking so that's what I'm, i was making right now um the water had already boiled i was just adding now the porridge flour then i leave it uh slowly cooking then i sweep the floors and mop um the floors for the rest of the house my day bag had cleaned like i told you guys she came on monday wednesday and thursday but you as you know um for us in our house we usually clean the kitchen floors every day so that's why i was mopping the floors so i want to do a small haul i got a package from um i got a package from the means german cosmetic shop and clearly i've not made my bed today <laughs> don't judge it's just been a, a long day um so I just wanted to do this haul uh, for the Maze German cosmetic shop. So this is what she sent. So this is how the package looks like. And I'm seeing so many chocolates inside. If it was here. Sulu's, um, I mean the book Sulue, I think that's how it's uh, pronounced by Lupita Nyongo. Oh, this is so nice, guys. <laughs> oh, this is a story book, I'm guessing for my son. <laughs> Sulue was born the color of midnight. Oh, she looked nothing like her family, not even a little, not even at all. <laughs> Mama was the color of dawn. Hardly anyone at school looked like Sulue either. Oh, people gave her sister Mish pet names like Sunshine and Ray and Beauty. People gave Sulue names like Blacky and Ducky and Night. This is so sad. <laughs> I'll read this after Shari. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. Oh, thank you so much, Irene. Thank you. I know you're watching this. Thank you so much for this. So, um, the rest of the other things are Balea buttermilk and lemon. Favorite. I'm actually on like my second last one, so I really needed that. And then there is um, two in one shampoo um, wash lotion. Um, is this one for baby? I'm thinking this one is for baby. Sensitive, no, but it has perfume. 
smells nice. It smells like candy. It smells like goody goody. I don't know if some of you remember goody goody. <laughs> so there's this. Um, let me see what this spray is. We've all been like duct taped together. Oh, I'm going to try out this one today. This is a new one. So this is Isana Berry Love Shower Gel. I'm going to try it today. It's um kind of sealed at the top so I can catch the scent. I'll tell you guys in the voiceover when I try it out. Um, she sent my other two favorite Balea um, shower gel. Love this one. Um, then this. <coughs> what is this? Intensify. Oh, furniture care. Oh. Interesting, and it's milky. I'm seeing like it's okay. Oh, well, that's off. off. It smells like lotion, and it's a cleaning uh, product, it's a furniture cleaning product. This ones, these are the ones that I usually put in like um <coughs> I know these ones I'll put them in like my handbag. Oh like a variety of hazelnut cream cappuccino hazelnut oh um cream hazelnut this one is what I can get what which one that one is um Hazelnut cream and crunch. Oh, so nice. Cappuccino. And this one is cream. Cream brulee hazelnut. Oh, this is so nice. So the other chocolate are these ones. I'm going to start, I'm going to restock my chocolate drawer. And then there's this truffle. Wow. And then now there's this ones. Nice. Another book, another book. Meet the little leaders, they're brave, they're bold, they change the world. Little leaders, bold women in black history. Oh, wow. This is so nice. I'm guessing this is not for my son. This is mine. <laughs> I'm guessing this one is by who? Vashti Aris Harrison. <coughs> Called Nabing Akamba. Vashti Harrison is an artist and filmmaker with a passion for storytelling. To my gift you Sulue. I have officially found my new favorite um shower gel from um the Miss German Cosmetic Shop. As usual, I will link it in the description box down below. This smelled very very lovely. Um. I have now I have to restock on these ones. <laughs> So these are the second pair of specs that I got from Married by Unique. I didn't show you guys. I got the pink like cut eye ones um, and they came in this lovely strawberry pink case. So I'm just picking up some things that I need to go edit this vlog. Um, I'm picking up a new gel pen. Um, this set of gel pens is from gift shop. I will link it in the description box down below for you guys. So I'm just picking a few things then I go edit this vlog. So I'm wearing one of the Ella Coffee's PJs I showed you guys the other day. Um, by the disclaimer, I'm short, that's why it's so long on me. Plus, I have like um, I'm wearing a suit on top because it's actually cold outside. So, yeah, let me go edit. Um, this is so comfortable. <laughs> I, I can actually leave the house like this. So, let me go edit. I've picked up my stuff. Um, yeah, so let me go make a cup of coffee, edit, sit down, and edit this vlog. 
so it's around like 5 p.m and this is the time i'm having my dinner <laughs> so um at first i decided to have it on the dining table then i just moved and went to the living room because that's where my hubby and my son were and i kind of felt like i was isolating myself in the dining so i just moved to the living room so before i end the video i just i'm um, going to share with you guys the flowers um the bouquet of the week from calyx flowers ke so yeah this is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in my next video